We're gonna go get lit. So if you don't have that money, you are SOL. <laughs> it's a two hour drive to the right place and we're supposed to get on the ferry in 45 minutes. <laughs> So, if you see my previous videos, you might remember Tim! Some Merlot, anyone? He's gonna be- <laughs> Hello! <laughs> As he chokes on his really coffee. Bad, so, he's gonna be joining me on this trip that we're going to uh, Cayo or Cayo Costa Island. Now, it's an island, so you have to take a ferry to get there. Of course, I went through the process of booking this private ferry to the island, and well, they said they were gonna message me with all the details of like where to go, how to park, et cetera, et cetera. It's uh, about three and a half hours before we need to get on a ferry, and I have heard nothing. So we're just gonna start driving, and hopefully they message me, maybe call them along the way. This could all go to sh who knows. But uh, we'll see you there. to the Captiva Cruises place. It's the cruise line that um, is hired by the state park in order to like, you know, sh shuffle people to and from the island. I don't know if this is the place. I'm gonna go in and fingers crossed, um, fingers crossed we can get on a boat. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. 12 seconds later. Tell us what happened. <laughs> Uh, well, you know how I said I was just gonna like drive in the direction of the place where the ferry is? Well, yeah, okay. So Google Map took us here, but the actual place we need to go to is up there. It's a two hour drive to the right place and we're supposed to get on the ferry in 45 minutes. <laughs> Needless to say, we're not gonna make it to Cayo Costa Island today, so I'm gonna have to make an extremely embarrassing a uh, phone call. Man, uh, and I can't even push it today because I have plans with other people. This is so sad. I'm sure it happens all the time. We could just ask them to wait an hour. <laughs> <laughs> there's someone already. There's all three people going over, and there's already a um, couple people. The people that are there to go over waiting, so they want to go right now. So I'm just, <laughs> just trying to let my disappointment just seep through me, and then I can just deal with this. Okay. On the bright side, this is kind of a cool little drive out here. I mean, it was, <laughs> but now I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay. So I drove to uh, an entirely wrong place. I'm actually two hours away, so I highly doubt we're gonna make any ferry today. Oh. Yeah, I just I just Google mapped it. And I was like, no. Um, unless there's like a same day trip thing that can happen, like an early morning and then come back the same day, or is that is that not possible? Uh -huh. That, that, that I can do. Okay. Yeah. No problem. We'll see you in the morning. Oh, I Bye. appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. We'll okay. see you later. Thank you. Bye. Right. Bye. Yay! I don't lose money! <sighs> okay. We'll call it for now. After like a solid half hour of Google searching and a hour dry, we decided that we wanted bottomless mimosas to find out that nowhere served bottomless mimosas, but we found the next best thing. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, what, Hooked Bar? Hooked Brewery? It's this place, essentially. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get lit. And then uh, that's all we got plans for today because, well, you know, they kind of went out the window. Luckily, we will be on the boat tomorrow, so it's not gonna, it's not like this whole trip went sideways and off the deep end, but you know, what? this is what you do when stuff goes awry. Okay, five dollar margaritas, my bad. We have mission accomplished. One thing worked out for us today. Everything's oh, okay now. Hooked Island and Grill. No, Hook Island Grill. Now we're gonna go for a walk because I can't drive. Like this, obviously. The next morning. So. 
yesterday ended up not being any more exciting. We, you know, got out of the restaurant and then we got in the van and we looked for a place to sleep. And that was our day, literally. Today, we were lucky enough to get on the boat and we're gonna do a day trip instead of an overnight trip. So we're currently waiting to load on the boat and the boat's about an hour ride to the island and then we'll have a bunch of time on the island and then around 3.30, we'll catch the ferry back. You'll, you'll, you'll break my, my line holder. I'll yell at you, do a little back, Ron will get involved, that's where things get messy, okay? <laughs> so again, wooden bars, welcome aboard, take your time, folks. Hoping to see dolphins, but no dolphins. Hopefully, he's bugging me. Oh, you can see. The I can see your arm. So you Let's try, buddy. Yeah. There is a tram that runs every hour from the part where you get off the boat to the beach where pretty much everyone else is going. But because you know we sat in a car basically since I don't know like 10 a.m. yesterday till basically when we went to bed, we decided that we wanted to walk. Speaking of the tram. Uh, it was it coming? Are we gonna get hit? Mm -hmm. Here comes the tram. Here comes the tram. There's also an entrance fee of $2 per person in cash, no change. So if you don't have that money, you are SOL. I'm just hoping that there's enough water in here to stir. If we don't have enough water, we can just pour some gin in it. <laughs> God, you actually look excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mister, I don't like gin. Oh, okay. Looked actually excited about it. No, 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 you go. No, I cooked the dinner and you get the first bite. I put in the work and someone else will, no. Yeah. Go for it. It's you. <laughs> I'm enjoying the gin. I'm letting the gin settle. It's like the tiniest, tiniest bit undercooked, but it's gonna be fine. It's fine. I like all done today. Bite. We'll take turns. That was a day spent on Keo Costa. So we'll go through the cost of what it is to come here. On the surface level, it sounds like it's actually super affordable, but once you start adding up all the small things that are in between, it actually becomes a little bit more pricey. Let's start with getting here first off. First of all, if you want to come for the day, that's amazing. That makes it just a little bit more affordable because you're not paying for a campsite. A campsite on this website, it says it's $22, but then there's a fee you have to pay essentially. It comes out to like $28, almost $29 for a campsite. Then on top of that, when you get to the island, it's $2 per person in order to enter the park. Then of course, to get to Keo Costa, even just to the ferry, it's a $6 toll on the road, followed by then um, the ferry itself which is, is not part of the park. It's like a separate charter company that's hired or is, is partnered with the park. So they're about $50 for a round trip. So expect that when you come here. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get to stay the night here, but in the end, it turned out for the best. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. And if you're here, again, I love seeing every all your comments. I love seeing all the nice things that people have to say it means a lot to me so i appreciate every single one of you and um i'll see you in the next one bye hello hello working okay okay <laughs> Yeah, get out of my wow, that was awful. Dude, voices. this thing is so ratchet right now. <laughs> <laughs>